Lee Walk. Lawrence Oliver. Yes, so you figure, give it about, I, I'm saying it's right, it's going to be in the area where that gentleman with the sweater is. Rifle Squad! My father and my grandfather were both army, so I just wanted to join the army. And I was 17 and I joined the United States Army. And then I, <laughs> they sent me to Vietnam. Hmm. You know, I cry when I see this. All these, guys, all these, all these names that they are people. You know, they were, they were, they are, you know, warriors that have like, you know, done so much and they sacrificed their lives. All my brothers are here on this wall. Hell, he just went through and now he rates the Marine Corps Blues. He learns to fight, to maim, to kill, even though it is against his will. He will fight a war for us. Fifteen each, is that way? Yeah, right, that in the, right in the corner there. I was... Like he said earlier, he was a lucky one too. He didn't get sent over. I was over there in the 3rd Marine Division. And uh, the 4th and 9th Marines. And I put in a couple different times and I was lucky, I guess. Teddy Johnson, he was from Brockton. I shook his hand a month before he got killed the Brockton High football game. And he said to me, Mike, it was nice knowing you. So I want to get home and spend some time with my family. And I said, uh, no, 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 you'll be back. We'll be going to games again. And uh, he was a paratrooper. He got killed about a month later. And one is Ronnie Barrisford from Brockton, too. And, uh, he's a nice kid. He's a big kid. Nice kid. And Danny Goodwin, another one, Timmy Holster. I went to school with these guys. It's a shame. To have the wall come here meant an awful lot to me. Uh, my goal was not to have the wall here, believe it or not. My goal was to have a veteran that lives in Cranberry Country to have closure. And I stated that my goal still existed. I hadn't met my goal. About three people down, the guy turned to me and he said, you've accomplished your goal. All the Vietnam vets come down here in the morning, after one o'clock and everything, you just sit there. And the key is, when you spot one, you can't put the scare to them. They gotta come down by themselves. And when they do come down, you watch them walk over to the wall. And then what I do is I walk and I approach them very quietly. I said, welcome home. And then we embrace. And most of the time I whisper, I said, well, when you're if you need a to talk, you can, turn we have to wait a the the <laughs> This is our healing. For all of the men and women. I knew I'd get it. I knew it would be. That's still life. That's still life. Even though they're On not with us anymore, evening, they're still alive. Dear and gracious God, bless. They're still alive. Amen. They're still alive. Amen.